Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another lesson on maths in surveying. So you're probably wondering why did we spend all that time finding the area of just triangles? Because in real life, um, the shapes that you're going to find the areas of is probably not just confined to triangles. Now, the cool thing about um, shapes is that you can get a polygon with let's say any number of sides we're going to start with an easy one with just four sides okay if we want to find the area of the shape and we don't know how to do it we can simply cut it up by drawing a line from one corner to another corner into triangles and we can simply find the area of the triangles individually a1 and a2 and add them together and that will give us the area of this shape so let's say we have a four-sided polygon right, or a quadrilateral however you call it and let's say we have the side length let's call it um, let's call this 12 meters a bit longer so 13 meters uh, let's call this 10 meters let's call this uh, 14 meters and how would we find the area well you need to cut up the shape so let's cut it up and let's say that this pink line is 20 meters okay let's say that pink line is 20 meters and then to find the area of each of these triangles so let's say I want to find this one first so then you just go S Right, remember Heron's formula, so I'll write it out again. Heron's formula, S equals the three sides added together. So let's A plus B plus C, the three sides added together, divided by 2. So it's 13 plus 20 plus 10 divided by 2. And the answer is 21.5. And then we put it inside the area of a triangle formula. So then area, sorry, area of a triangle formula. Yep, so square root of S, S minus A times S minus B times S minus C inside a big square root. And then we have square root of 21.5 times 21.5 minus 20 times 21.5 minus 13 times um, 21.5 oh 21.5 minus 10 so then you would do a bit of mental calculation you know if you're confident otherwise you can use your calculator times 1.5 times what's 21.5 minus 13 8.5 times 11.5 so put all that into the calculator putting all that into the calculator and then square root the answer and you will get 56.146 or 156.17 so the answer is 56.147 meters squared okay so that is only the area of this bottom triangle so now let's use a different color and try to get the area of the top triangle so I'm gonna do it a bit quicker by fast forwarding it so you don't have to watch the same thing all over and over again so basically I have S equals um, A plus B plus C divided by 2 so A B and C Put it inside the area of a triangle formula so we got um, I've already written the formula down so I'm just gonna go straight to substituting things in 23 minus 12 23 minus 14 
Put all of that into the calculator. 82.65 meters squared, rounded to do two decimal places. And I forgot how I rounded it for the other one, but basically I now add the two areas together. So total area equals the two areas, so 56.147 plus 82.65. And that is the area of the quadrilateral, the total area. Okay, so the total area is 138.79 or 8, 138.8 meters squared, rounded to one decimal place. Okay, and that is the total area of a quadrilateral. Okay, so we're going to do another similar one, but this time, instead of giving you the um, side, I'm going to give you some angles. So we now need to find the area of this pentagon. Now, the surveyor would somehow cut it up, so let's cut it up from this point to this point, cut it up from this point to this point, so we have split it up into three triangles, triangle one, triangle two, triangle three. So now we can simply find the area of each of these triangles. So the surveyor would have instruments to measure the angle, you know, between lines. So let's say that we found that this angle is 95 degrees and we found that um, this angle is 110 degrees so it looks like you do need the length of these one at least one of these yellow lines so let's say that you're given the length of this line to be um, 25 meters and you found that actually it would be longer than that probably oh no that's probably fine um, so then you found that this angle is <clears throat> this angle is let's say 50 degrees okay so now what you can do is you can find the three areas separately so let's call this a1 so a1 area 1 is equal to using the sine ratio area rule half a b sine c so we got half times a and b can be um, in whichever order so let's say 14 is a 16 is b times sine of 95 degrees okay put that into your calculator this should be a times by the way not plus okay put that into your calculator make sure your calculator says degrees if you can't see the degree symbol something is wrong type 0 0.5 times 14 times 16 times sine 95 degrees and the answer is 111.57 now technically you're not supposed to round until you get the final answer so let's just you can keep writing out the numbers after that so then um, let's do area two. Area two is this area. Area two equals half AB sine C. And I use a lighter color half times. So this number can be A, this number can be B, 13 times 25 times. Sine C, C is the angle in between the two side lengths sine 50 put that into your calculator and the answer is 124.48 meters squared and then we got another area let's use a different color again area 3 so again half a b sine c fast forward through that one point three eight meter squared so now the total area is simply this um, these three areas added together so one 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 point five seven um, make sure you write down all the 
decimal numbers because you're not supposed to round it before you get the final answer plus 56.38 all right add all that together and the answer is 292.43 meters squared awesome okay so now i'm going to give you guys a problem and see if you can figure out how to cut up the polygon to find the total area okay so this is another pentagon and using the skills you can uh, you have learned in this lesson figure out the total area and come back when you're done okay so i'm going to find a1 using um herons so what's what's the numbers again um s equals half bracket 40 plus 60 plus 80 and the answer for that is 90 so the area of the triangle is square root of 90 times 90 minus 40 times 90 minus 60 times 90 minus 80 so I'll fast forward it 1161.895 dot 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 meters squared so that's the yellow area let's do another area let's do the green area again we have um, actually we can use the sign um, area rule so we got a b and c so area equals half a b sine c so that's half times 80 times 56 times sine 70 put all that into the calculator and the answer is 2104.911 dot dot meter squared and then the third area using a different color again area equals half a b sine c so it's half times 55 times 50 times sine 100 and then that will tell us it's 1354.11 dot dot meter square so the total area right the whole thing right the whole thing added together is going to be total area equals the three areas added 1161.895 plus 2104.911 plus 1354.11 add them all together and you will get 4620.92 meters squared rounded to 2dp okay so that is how you find the area of uh, polygons with more than three sides thanks for watching guys see you next time